Google AdSense and Google Ad Exchange are two of the most popular advertising technologies on the internet. Today, we will break down the differences between the two of them and figure out which of those two solutions is best to monetize your website. Before starting, I wanted to know that this video is sponsored by Hostinger. Google Ad X or Google Ad Exchange is an advertising exchange that facilitates the buying and selling of online advertising space. It works very similar to a stock exchange where advertising space is openly traded by many buyers and sellers. For publishers or website owners, Google Ad X is a marketplace where they can sell ad space to a wide range of advertisers in real time. Publishers retain control over which ads are shown on their website and can see reports on who purchased their inventory and how much they paid for it. For advertisers, Google Ad X provides a way to buy ad space from publishers. Since a lot of premium publishers use the platform, Ad X is an easy way to scale campaigns or target specific demographics of users. Overall, Google Ad Exchange is a premium marketplace that allows publishers and advertisers to buy and sell ad space more efficiently. That being said, Google Ad X has a very strict requirements as to who can gain access to the platform in the first place, which can make it a little bit difficult for smaller websites to join the marketplace. The good news is though, even if you do not fulfill Google's minimum requirements, you can use Google Ad X with the help of an authorized channel partner. But we will talk more about how you can gain access to Google Ad X in a little bit. Google AdSense is an easy to use platform that enables websites owners to monetize their content by serving ads to their visitors. Websites owner simply have to install a small piece of code on the site and select the spaces on which they want the ads to appear. Google then monetizes the website's traffic by displaying ads on those spaces. To use AdSense, publishers just need to have family-friendly content, no invalid traffic, and no copyright complaints. As a result, AdSense is one of the most widely used digital ad platforms out there. Now, let's look into the main differences between AdX and AdSense to help you decide which one of those solutions is best to monetize your websites. Firstly, it is important to identify where the majority of your website traffic is coming from. Depending on whether your traffic comes from primarily from tier 1 JOs or tier 3 JOs, AdX and AdSense can outperform each other drastically. In case you are not sure which country belongs to which JOs, basically Western Europe, North America and Australia are tier 1 JOs and all other countries belong to tier 3. AdX delivers more ad revenue when set up correctly from tier 1 JOs. With an optimized dynamic floor in step, Google Open Biden and Preferred Deals publishers can expect their ad revenue to increase between 10 to 60% when switching from AdSense to AdX. This is because many premium brands with large budgets run campaigns only through AdX. This doesn't only result in more ad revenue, but also better ad quality in general. AdSense is best for tier 3 JOS and almost always outperforms AdX in those geos. This is because AdSense has a very strong demand from small local businesses in these regions. Next, as I mentioned before, both platforms have very different entry requirements. So let's take a look at this. With AdX, publishers need to have at least 5 million page views per month before they can apply for direct access to the platform. But that being said, it is possible to access ad through a channel partner even if you do not meet that minimum requirement of 5 million page views per month. There is a link in the description below to a video where I'll talk about App Broda, which is a Google AdX ad network that provides a lot of features and advantages left for you to discover on this video. It is a certified Google Ads network that I advise you to join if you want to opt for Google AdX. AdSense, on the other hand, is a 
very easy to use for non-cyclical publishers. To get the most of Google Ads X, you need an ad expert, an ad tech developer, and if you do not meet the minimum requirements, also an ad X partner. If your website gets more than half a million page views and has around 10% tier one traffic, Google Ad X can provide more ad revenue and better ad quality than AdSense. On the other hand, if your website has lower traffic levels and less than 5% tier one traffic, AdSense is most likely the best fit for your site. What ad platform are you currently using? Tell us in the comments down below. I have uploaded a lot of videos uh, where I showed different ideas to create new websites like creating your own shortening website or a website that generates disposable emails as well as speed test websites or a website to upload files. These websites are a solid project ideas that you can invest your money in and get results when you put in the work. I'll try to make a showcase video where I will take a website, set it up and start making money. In order to do so, first you need to get a hosting plan. For this, go to Hostinger. Use my link down below in the description box in order to benefit from discounts. Here you can browse all plans starting from the single shared hosting plan with $1.99 a month, offering to host one website less than 10,000 visits a month and one email account. With premium sharing hosting plan, you get to host up to 100 websites, free domain, free SSL, and Google Ads credits to promote your website. And the plan I personally use is the business sharing hosting plan. It costs around $4.99 a month and comes with a lot of additional features that I am highlighting. Here, choose the period. Don't forget to apply my coupon code Geek plugin in order to get a 15% off. Uh, this is it guys, so all the links used will be in the description box. Click the like button, subscribe when notifications on, and share this video with your friends. Peace out.